Electric cars are the future. They are smooth, silent, and significantly better for the long-term health of the planet, especially if you use sustainable energy solutions like solar power. But the future isn't a faraway flight of fantasy. In fact, there are many electric cars available in Australia today, from the likes of Hyundai, Nissan, and of course, Tesla, the ambitious American car maker that essentially pushed the fast forward button on the viability and appeal of EVs. And now 2020 looks like a watershed year with a battery of, well, battery powered vehicles charging into view. So here's the 10 electric cars of 2020 you need to know more about. The Volkswagen ID3 is ultimately the most significant of the new fleet of electric cars. Not only for the fact that it counteracts VW's horrendous emissions cheating scandal of a few years ago, but that the striking hatchback is essentially the patriarch in a huge family of EVs coming from the German car maker. The five door hatch will be joined by a range of battery powered SUVs in all sizes, as well as a luxury sedan, a born again combi, and even a modern recreation of the Myers Manx beach buggy. The ID3 will be offered in a variety of models with a driving range of between 330 and 500 kilometers, with the entry level version costing around the same as a mid spec Golf, somewhere in the mid 30 grand bracket. Kia Australia is desperately trying to get its hands on a pair of fully electric models, the e Nero small SUV and the e Soul hatch. It was hoping to have the e Nero in showrooms right now, but it has proven so popular in Europe and the US that the production lines can't keep up with demand. So expect them both in Australia later this year. Mercedes-Benz has already introduced its first fully electric vehicle, the EQC mid-sized SUV. But the German brand is out to prove that electric vehicles can be used in a variety of ways, with the EQ V1 of them, a battery-powered version of its V-series minivans. At the opposite end of the size scale, it was inevitable that Mini would introduce an electric version of its reborn icon, especially considering that parent company BMW developed a fleet of battery-powered Minis to help develop its cutting-edge technology. The Mini Cooper SE has a unique T-shaped battery that means it retains all the interior space of its petrol-powered equivalent and still has an electric motor with 135 kilowatts of power that ensures it performs just like any other Mini. If you're after something a little more practical though, then BMW is set to introduce a battery-powered version of its popular X3 SUV in 2020. While it is still under development and due to be revealed in full later this year, BMW has promised that it will have more than 200 kilowatts of power and be able to travel at least 400 kilometers between recharges. Perhaps the most radical EV on the horizon is coming from Ford. Not because it drastically pushes the boundaries of technology, it has 480 kilometers of driving range from a dual motor setup in the top specification, but simply because of its name. The Blue Oval has strategically linked the Mach-E, a five-door high-riding SUV, with its iconic Mustang, which is traditionally a V8-powered two-door sports coupe. The Mustang Mach-E is almost certain to arrive in Australia within the next year or so. Before then, Mazda Australia looks likely to add its first EV down under with the MX-30 that was revealed at the 2019 Tokyo Motor Show. The small SUV is around the same size as its CX-3 and comes with a 103 kilowatt electric motor and a 35.5 kilowatt hour battery that delivers around 300 kilometers of driving range. Interestingly, it also features rear opening back doors, similar to those seen on the last generation RX-8 sports coupe. Volvo will also introduce a small battery powered SUV this year with its smart looking XC40 Recharge P8. With more than 300 kilowatts of power and a driving range of over 400 kilometers, the XC40 Recharge draws on technology that Volvo has created for its all-electric spin-off sports car brand, Polestar. Ironically, Tesla won't be silent in 2020 either, with the final member of enigmatic founder Elon Musk's four-car lineup due to start production. The Model Y is essentially the SUV version of the small Model 3 that arrived in Australian showrooms last year in much the same way that the Model X is related to the original Model S sedan. Even though it's a smaller soft rotor, it will still be available with a seven seat option across a variety of models, including a long range version that has a driving range of 480 Ks, 
and a performance variant that can outrun most supercars to the speed limit. Finally, one of the most anticipated EVs of 2020 comes from a brand new name, Rivian. Like Tesla, the American startup brand is challenging the establishment with its bold and boxy R1T pickup and R1S full-size seven-seat SUV. With major investors like Amazon behind it, Rivian says it is on a mission to keep the world adventurous forever and prove that EVs can do anything and still go anywhere. With production due to begin in 2020, Rivian confirmed it will manufacture its vehicles in right-hand drive and has indicated it will introduce them to the Australian market sometime in the future. So there you go, 2020 looks to be a definitive marker in the sand for the electric car. And these are just a handful of the most exciting new EVs to look out for. If you're looking to begin the transition to electric motoring, then contact Lease Plan for more information.